I tried to do 24 hour intermittent fasting, but after 12 hours, it went so bad. Let's find out. Hi everyone, my name is Rehan and I'm a type 2 diabetic. Recently, I decided to take control of my diabetes and lose weight. So intermittent fasting is one of the most effective methods to manage diabetes and reduce weight. Intermittent fasting involves eating only during a specific time window each day. If you divide 24 hours into two parts, you eat all of your meals within a restricted time frame and the rest of the day you consume nothing. Basically anything could spike the blood glucose or insulin level. You can still drink water, electrolytes, black tea or coffee during fasting. People practice intermittent fasting differently. Some fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8 hour window. Other might fast for longer periods like 24 hours, 36 hours or even up to 48 hours or more. They call it prolonged fasting. However, I choose to do 24 hour fast. I started fasting at 4 p.m. with a nutritious meal including chicken, salad, broccoli, cauliflower and shrimp curry with vegetables, ensuring I avoided carbohydrates. My blood sugar was 5.9 millimole per liter. At 8 p.m. I went to the gym. My routine included cycling, walking, running, followed by intense exercise. After spending one hour and 45 minutes, I have managed to burn around 1,025 calories. Before going to bed at midnight, I checked my blood sugar again, which was 6.2 millimole per liter, and my blood pressure was also normal, between 90 to 110. Everything seems good, and I went to sleep. At exactly 3.10 a.m., my glucose alarm went off. My blood sugar had dropped to 4.4 millimole per liter. Typically, our body relaxes and reduces sugar levels at night, but they should return to normal once there's some activity. I got up, walked around for a few minutes, drank some water, and went back to bed. An hour and a half later, around 4.30 am, my glucose alarm went off loudly again. I was alarmed to find my blood sugar had dropped into the danger zone at 2.6 millimole per liter. In a panic, I remember a scene from the movie Taken 3 where the character had a sugar drop and ate chocolate. I quickly ate a small piece of chocolate, also ate a date to ensure my sugar level remained stable longer thanks to its sugar and fiber content. Still. I continued receiving warning that my blood sugar was still low. I was confused. I wondered if my continuous glucose monitor was malfunctioning or providing false reading. To double check, I used the traditional blood sugar test strip. After testing, I saw my readings stabilized and I was out of danger. My continuous glucose monitor read 5.6 millimole per liter and the traditional test strip showing 5.7 millimole per liter. This incident made me question, what went wrong? I have fasted before even up to 29 hours without issues, perhaps because I previously had a high carbohydrate diet and didn't engage in intense exercise. This time, however, I was on a restricted diet with high intensity exercise and overall lower sugar levels which likely contributed to the hypoglycemic event. If any doctors are watching, please let us know your thoughts. Should those of us with diabetes avoid fasting or is it the combination of diet, intense exercise and fasting that our bodies cannot handle simultaneously? If you are considering fasting and have diabetes, please consult with your doctor first Everyone's body reacts differently to fasting and what happened to me may not happen to you. Please share this video and help to educate our diabetic community further. 
follow me on Facebook and subscribe me on YouTube for more updates. That's all for today. Until next time, take care and stay healthy.